Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Emma Lefebvre and today we are painting a cardinal in the snow. So let's jump right in and do it. Okay, so to start, I'm gonna go through my materials. I'm using B cold press watercolor paper today. My Windsor Newton Professional watercolors in my palette and my Princeton snap brush in a size six round water paper towel. I also have a pencil and a kneaded eraser because we're gonna sketch out the bird first. And I think that's about it, so let's jump right in. So, I have sketched out birds before and everything is just built off of shapes. So, the first thing we're gonna do very lightly is draw a circle for the head, okay? And then for the body, we're gonna do kind of like an upside down triangle, like cone shape almost like a, a little heart like that okay let's see if that proportion seems right okay and then what we're gonna do we're gonna have the face the face of the bird facing this way <laughs> okay so I'm gonna draw a beak kind of coming this way and it's gonna have a slight curve down so it's not gonna be completely straight it has a slight curve down and then a slight curve back like that you're gonna come down and back. You can do like a little split there and then just kind of come up like that, okay? And then let's do where the black part of the bird is gonna be. So it's gonna come up around this pointed part of the beak. We're just kind of sketching out where these are gonna be. It's gonna come back here for the eye and the eye's gonna be right about here, I think, yeah. Yeah, that seems about right. And then the black part is gonna come back and meet right down here, and then it's gonna come underneath the chin. I know this looks a little weird right now, but it will come together. Okay, now we're gonna connect these shapes. So the cardinal has kind of like this mohawk thing. So we're gonna come straight over this circle and come like straight up. And we're gonna do like little flicky mohawk things. And you're gonna come back further than the circle and it's going to come right down to kind of where the shoulder or breast part of it is okay like that and we can even make this a little bit bigger if we want like that okay so here's kind of like the breast like the chest of the of the bird and then from this shoulder you're going to do some feathers so it's going to come down here for the one wing you can just kind of come in a bit. And then the tail is going to come right back here. And we're not going to see too, too much detail on this bird because it's going to be like a nice kind of flowy watercolor bit. I'm not going to do too much detail. So it's going to come down. You're just going to do like little scoops for this tail. And we're going to do some branches popping in the front. Okay, so there's our bird. And you're not going to see too much of the feet. So we can just kind of do like a little claw there and a claw there. Okay, now let's just put some branches where we want them to be. So obviously he has to be sitting on a branch. Okay, you can have this one come up, connect there. Maybe it comes down, however you wanna do it. Like that. We can have another little stick coming and we can do berries or little pine needles, whatever you want. Okay, and we can figure that out later. So now we are going to erase all the areas we don't really need. So all those like shapes we made, like the circle, where it's all gonna be connected. And you're just going to kind of leave some of the basic outlines, but don't worry too much about it. And I'm also gonna make it lighter so we don't see it underneath. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so now let's get into the watercolor part. Just like that, like that. Okay, let's get into the watercolor part. So I'm going to do the red first and then we'll do the black after once it's dried. Let me turn my palette around. Okay, so I'm gonna be using Windsor Red, maybe a bit of cadmium red because it's on the orange side or maybe some yellow. And I'm just putting it in my palette then I'm gonna wash it off so I get a lighter, a lighter value of it. And I'm just gonna go around the bird where the red part would be. And I'm gonna add more water. 
we want a nice light wash because we're going to go back in with some darker pigment after. I'm just going to do these like feathery type edges towards the head and then slowly bring it down. I'm going to add a little bit more color if you like. Okay, coming down, just filling it in with this light wash. And you can even do the edges of the breast a little bit more feathery just by flicking your wrist a bit. So it has this like feathery edge. Okay. And then same over here. For the wings. I actually think the wings are going to be behind the branch. So I'm just going to make sure that they kind of cut off right there. And they'll be behind the branch. Adding a bit more pigment. Okay, and then the trick with this part is that you want to try and keep it all wet. Oops, I just added way too much water there, but that's okay. I can mop some of it up. Okay, because we're going to go back in with some more pigment and then let the wet on wet kind of give us a cool um, effect. Now, if your painting is drying too fast and it's not staying the desired amount of wetness <laughs> that you want it to, go back over some of it with water so it's all wet. Also, if you're using cheaper paper, that might be an issue. Excuse the noises downstairs. We're getting our basement done. I was really hoping that you wouldn't be able to hear, but I mean, let's be honest, hammering and saws and all that stuff. It's just, it's just kind of how it's going to be. So now I'm just dropping in some more pigment and kind of letting it flow and doing its, its own thing. Okay. So you can leave some spaces a little bit lighter. You can do some like furry, furry little bits like that. I think I might grab some cadmium orange, throw a bit of an orange in there, or maybe even some yellow and it will mix with the red and be a bit of an orange just for like some highlights almost. Okay. Then I'm going to make some darker red. So I'm going to grab some Hooker's Green Dark, mix it with my red. So it's a little bit brown, but more on the red side. So just add a bit more red and go over these wings, kind of doing some lines to give it a, a bit of texture on the wings and on the tail. Oops, my tail has started to dry, so I'm just gonna wash and dry off my brush and just kind of wet it up a little bit again. So we can get a better bleed effect. I'm just gonna do some shapes like that. I'm gonna grab more red. I really apologize about the noise if you can hear that. Like that. Maybe grab some of that darkness and go over here. And we're just letting it bleed and kind of move around. Like I said, it's not really detailed. Oh my. Perfect time to start painting. Okay. So I still have some lighter bits here and here, a little bit of yellow, and that will just kind of add to the texture of the bird like that. Okay. So I think we're going to leave that for now. Let's do the beak cause it's not touching any other wet parts. So I'm going to grab some orange, cadmium orange, and I'm going to go over the beak like that. And I'm going to grab a bit of that darker red. Kind of tap it at the bottom here. Just let it bleed a little bit. Just make sure you have only a little bit of color and, and water on your brush. If you add a lot of water right there when you do it, um, it will push all the pigment away. So when picking up darker color to add a bit of a shadow, just make sure there's not a lot of water or pigment on your brush. I feel like it needs to be a bit more orange. Gonna grab a bit more orange, maybe even a bit of yellow. So actually, I before we let it dry, I'm just gonna do some like feathery type lines around 
where we're gonna put the black after just to give the edges a bit more texture too, like of a feathery texture. And it's already kind of started to dry there, so that's why it looks a little bit darker and sharper. And there we go. Okay, so now that that's done, we can add the black part of the face. So I'm just gonna grab my black. It's over here. I don't think it's in frame, but that's okay. Um, and I'm just going to go around the beak here to start as smoothly as I can. And around the eye. And I'm just gonna, again, kind of do the like feathery edge. So it's not just like a straight line where the black and the red meet. Okay. Like that. And then I'm going to go in the eye too and make that black, just maybe leaving a little bit of white. Actually, you know what? We're going to make that all black and then I'll go and do some white highlight after. We'll just look a bit better like that. Okie dokie. And now I think I'm going to add just a bit more color to here. So we have like the texture underneath. I'm going to grab some cadmium red, which is cadmium orange, basically. Mix it with my red. And I'm just going to do like a flat wash kind of over top of the breast area just to make it a bit brighter. Need a bit more orange. And it kind of separates the head almost too a bit. So I'm just doing. Okay, and it just makes it a bit brighter too. So I'm gonna grab some of that darker brown that we made. Darker red, I mean, sorry. And then just gonna do some furry kind of. Gosh, the saw fluffy kind of lines like that and I might even grab some lighter like white later um, to do some highlights there okay and then I'm gonna grab the same color and I'm just gonna do these little lines for the fur on the bird the fur the feathers whatever <laughs> not fur feathers okay and I'm still leaving that kind of highlighted area because I kind of like the way that looks okay now these wings I'm gonna grab the more brownish red color and I'm gonna go over them just because I feel like there was a bit too much of a light color there. Grab a bit more brown. We can do more detail on that after. I'm just kind of filling in all those whiter areas. But if you don't have those, you don't have to do this part. I feel like there's more orange on the underside of the tail. I'm gonna grab a bit of the cadmium orange. And throw it in here like that and then grab that darker bit like that okay so now let's wait for that to dry and then we'll do a bit more okay so now we're gonna do a bit more detail I'm gonna grab a bit more of my green mix it with my red to get this brown color and we're going to sharpen up some of the wings here so I'm just gonna do some more sharp lines like that. Just some vertical lines coming down. And then maybe one here. Scoop it a bit. Just so you can see the feathers at the bottom there. Like that. And then I'm gonna grab, I'm sorry I didn't mention, mention this at the beginning, some bleed proof white. And I'm gonna mix it a bit with this like yellow here to make it a bit opaque. And I'm just gonna do some little flecks of this light colored for some of the fur. I feel like I could use more white though. Like that. Just kind of add a little bit of that feathery texture. Okay. And then even on some of these wings, we can go around those dark areas with a light 
line beside it. Not too much, just like a little bit. And same here. <laughs> I know this is supposed to be relaxing and we're like basically on a construction site here. I apologize, but I have no other time to film. Just worked out this way. Okay, and then we're gonna do the eye. So I'm just gonna do like a little C here and then a highlight like that. Let's make it a bit more white though. Like that. Okay. There you go. You can even do like a little highlight on the top of the beak. Wherever you think your bird could use a little bit of highlight. I feel like that eye is a bit too much, but I can fix it after. Okay. So there's our bird. Now let's do maybe a background. So this is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking I'm going to take my larger brush, my size 12, and we're going to do like a gray background. So I'm going to grab my Payne's gray. I'm just going to put it over here. It's a bit more on the blue side, but whatever color you want, and I'm going to water it down and I'm just going to carefully go around the bird. I'm gonna turn it around just so I can do my best to get this side without messing it up. And I'm just doing a rough border with this. Um, I could have taped it down, but I didn't. Also, it helps prevent warping if you tape it down, so I would suggest doing that as well. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna do a rough, a rough border. And if you get some like fun, like funky blooms, that's okay. It's just a background. Okay, and as you can see, I got some like funny blooms, but honestly, I kind of like that for a background. Um, it adds a bit of texture. But yeah, so let's wait for this to dry and then we will come right back. Okay, so now that that's dry, um, I'm just going to fix one part that's bugging me. Um, this eye, the highlight is a bit too big, so I'm just going to take my mono drawing pen from Tombow. I'm just going to make that line a bit th thinner. Just kind of carve it out the way I want to. Like that. Just a little bit like that. Okay. <laughs> and then I'm going to take my small brush again. And I'm just going to do the line for the beak. Make it a bit thicker towards the corner. Get that brown a little bit darker. Might go in with a bit more black and make it a little bit darker because the black faded a little bit. Like that. Okay, and now let's do the branches. Um, actually, the brown feet. Let's do those first. I'm just actually gonna grab some burnt umber. that okay now let's do the branches again grabbing some burnt umber just roughly going over the branch area Okay, and then I'm gonna take darker brown. If you don't have a darker brown, you just add black to your brown. And I'm just gonna go on the underside of the branch. Let it bleed into that lighter brown a bit, just for a bit of a shadow. Okay, and now I'm gonna do some smaller branches. Um, where you can add some like maybe some pine or berries um i think i'm gonna do maybe like 
some berries here. So I just did a little branch. I'm gonna grab my red and then just do some, a little cluster of berries there. Grab a little bit of a dark brown and just do a little top of the berry. Maybe even a little bit of the dark brown underneath the little twigs. And last but not least, I'm gonna add some snow with my bleak proof white ink. You can use white gel pen, these are great. Um, you can use white gouache, whatever you have. And we're just gonna add some white snow to the top of the branches and maybe some falling. And then I'm just going to add some snow falling by grabbing my white and then doing some little flicks of falling snow. And there you go. There is your cardinal in the snow. Thank you all so much for watching my video. I really hope you liked it and I hope you learned something. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram for even more. Have a great day, guys. Bye.